Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Port photos into your Lightroom Classic CC catalog directly from a digital camera or card reader. To set Lightroom Classic CC to automatically start looking for photos to import whenever you plug in a camera or card reader, select Edit, Preferences from the menu bar. The Preferences dialog box then appears on screen. In the Import Options section of the General tab, check the Show Import Dialog when a memory card is detected checkbox, then click the OK button to close the dialog box. To manually import photos from a camera or card reader, start by connecting the camera or card reader to your computer before opening Lightroom Classic CC. If you need help connecting your camera to your computer, refer to the instructions that came with the camera. After connecting the camera or card reader, launch the Lightroom Classic CC application. The process of importing photos from a camera or card reader into your Lightroom Classic CC catalog is much the same as the process we looked at in the last lesson. You work from left to right on the import screen, first selecting source files to import, then determining importing criteria, and then specifying a destination folder and other options for the imported files. However, this time, the Add and Move Import methods are not available when you import from a camera or card reader because Lightroom must copy the photo data onto your hard drive in order to add photos to your catalog. After connecting your camera or card reader and launching Lightroom Classic CC, click the Import button in the Library module to open the Import window. Next, use the Source panel to navigate to the device or card. After the source has been selected, thumbnail images of the photos appear in the preview area in the center of the screen. Select the photos to import using the same tools and methods described in the previous lesson. Keep in mind that Lightroom Classic CC will import photos that are checked. Above the preview area, you must choose between the Copy as DNG import method and the Copy import method. Remember that the Add and Move import methods are not available when you import from a camera or card reader. After selecting photos for import and choosing an import method, use the destination panel on the right side of the screen to determine where your imported photos will be stored. By default, the destination panel will display the location where you most recently stored imported photos. You can also use the To button in the drop-down menu to select a Save Location for imported photos. Refer to the previous lesson to review the steps of selecting a destination location for imported photos. The Into Subfolder checkbox and Organize drop-down function the same way when importing from a camera or card reader as they do when you are importing photos from a location on your computer. You'll also notice panels for file handling, file renaming, and apply during import in the panel group along with the destination panel. We'll look at the features in these panels later on in this chapter in the lessons about setting import options. After selecting a destination location for your photos, you're ready to perform the import. Click the Import button in the lower right corner of the Import window. Depending on the size and number of photos you are importing, a progress bar may appear in the upper left corner of the screen. After the import operation completes, Lightroom Classic CC closes the import window and displays the thumbnails of the new photos in the library module. You'll also see your new photos in the film strip panel across the bottom of the screen. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.